<laughs> so how how are you doing the brand Mamarelli? great thank you um it's yeah we, we're really really pleased with how it's going so far it's um the what we're aiming for is stylish um our pleasure wear for maternity nursing and beyond mm -hmm. and that kind of came about just because um we were really keen to bring something more um than just kind of you throw away maternity um and something that you can kind of see you throughout the journey um because the brand's kind of like a holistic approach isn't it alex is a, a pre and postnatal um trainer as well so you were really keen to bring more than just clothes and a brand it's about the whole you know encompassing the whole yeah, yeah. And, yeah and past that yeah i think we just um really like as well there's so many different stages like your body just goes through so many changes and we wanted to try and i don't know save mums pennies as much as possible and make them stretch as far as possible so that you buy one item of clothing and it can kind of mold with your body throughout all stages so that's kind of what we tried to achieve throughout our range so hopefully yeah. it does just that yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly and it is early days isn't it mm. it's you know it's kind of a, a growing brand that we're really really excited about and been fortunate enough that you know so far such what is going really well um, mm -hmm. and yeah and there's we've got a lot more to kind of go into and explore and it's a really exciting time actually isn't it really yeah because you you've started not long ago 2018 am i right yeah yeah 18 19 kind of it was yeah sort of december last year wasn't it january sort of yeah january. started trade in january 19 and um, so coming up for a year actually um and it's we we try to kind of we want to grow organically and you know and, and do it in the right way and and make sure that mm -hmm. we're not losing our identity um, mm -hmm. which is what you know I was explaining before is what we're about um, mm -hmm. and so we've kind of yeah we've, we've had a good start haven't we and we feel like now we're just getting into the swing of it and every, a lot of things have been going on this year obviously with Covid you know those kind yeah. of things there's just a lot mm -hmm. of things thrown into the mix um, and it's yeah aside from Mamarelli it's been a busy year anyway it feels like we've been <laughs> having a bit of a juggling out we, we started speaking about Mamarelli in um, 2018 in July um, and I was actually living in Australia at the time and Joe was in England in here and mm -hmm. um, since then we obviously thought about it and were like can we really do this like do people just set up companies like kind of what happens yeah um, and then from then it was just like quite a lot of uh, a long process kind of developing the products and we were really key there was like a few key things for us like in our personal clothing I'm a massive um, advocate of like the fit being really, really important. So if you can have the most basic pro basic product, but if the fit is perfect and it really like sticks to your body in the right way, then it can make your whole outfit go from looking just okay to super elegant. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what we did a lot of kind of trials and tests on that. And then we mm -hmm. actually started trading properly um in like december 2019 january this year so we've not even been going a full year but um it's been a very interesting year and in our personal lives mm -hmm. i think combined <laughs> we've moved house like nine times i've obviously moved oh, countries wow. we've had twins it's been a bit hectic so um we finally kind of got to grips of our personal lives and can now devote a bit more of the time and attention that we really wanted to on Morelli because I think we were so excited with the concept and so eager to get started that probably wasn't the best time to get started but we did it anyway so um yeah yeah what's going on the most difficult part is just the start isn't it and then everything sort of yeah. falls into place is surprisingly yeah. really but you've got a lot of, of followers uh, well I've what I've seen him from Instagram I don't know how many buyers so far but you know people interested and and I think whoever's going to buy the first jumper and enjoys you know and likes the jumper for example that is comfortable and stylish they're going to follow your other selections you know other sort of jumpers coming up so yeah. you know that, that will be the sort of um buyer yeah the buyer, you know so yeah well that was slowly. the thing we, you know it's it's not just a maternity range or just a nursing range or mm -hmm. do you know it's it's uh, before i had the twins i've got a three-year-old so you know i was still running around in athleisure wear you know when i was 
when my son was two when I wasn't pregnant and um and I was just thinking there's a real gap here because you still you want to look nice and stylish mm -hmm. but there's but I still need to be comfortable because I'm in the park I'm crawling around on my hands and knees picking him up constantly I want you know something that kind of fits mm -hmm. through all stages of mm -hmm. your motherhood journey and that was really important to us just mm -hmm. because we just it was driving me mad and the whole reason we started it was actually Alex kind of pushing me over the edge making a, a bit of a sarky comment about what I was wearing one day with my son and, <laughs> and I was like well you just don't understand <laughs> and then that's kind of how the whole idea came about so it was exactly that reason that it's not you know we, we hope our buyers stay with us kind of longer term and for the duration it's not just a one-off you know um purchase for maternity or just for nursing or whatever you know a lot of our, our uh, tops and jumpers are all um discrete zips so you wouldn't i mean alex doesn't yet have any children and lives in our nursing tops and no one ever knows they're nursing which was kind of oh, <laughs> the thing that we what that we wanted to achieve so um mm -hmm. yeah hopefully we've got a good sort of following and and uh a lot of mums you know whether they've got babies newborns pregnant uh, through pregnancy and, and older kids uh, you know are still interested and wants to kind of follow us and, and buy with us mm -hmm. because it is quite a different brand from uh, the other ones that i've seen so far in the recent months i mean there's so many but they, they're more directed to while doing exercise but yours is is, is concentrated more of like on a day a sort of daily basis you know like so just going yeah. for coffee but still feel comfortable and still stylish yeah. isn't it yeah. but you yeah. do have um some sort of a collection that you can do exercise as well and then you've got a collection for that but it's good that you're just tackling that little gap like you said um, yeah absolutely and that, that was exactly yeah. kind of yeah the, the the area that we were trying to bridge so obviously mm -hmm. when you're a mom and you're running from here there and everywhere if you do manage to get your workouts in, there's not going to be much chance to then go home, shower, get fully changed before then going out to meet your friends in a coffee bar or whatever it may be. Mm. So we wanted something that you could just look good throughout. You can go to the gym in it, but you can kind of dress it up as well. So like you can wear the jumpers with some jeans and the leggings with like a mm -hmm. smarter top or whatever it may be. But yeah, that was kind of exactly it. We wanted, we really wanted to bridge that gap and make mm -hmm. it not too we didn't want to just be a gym specific you only train in it we wanted to be like casual mm -hmm. um yeah i guess um okay. style and i guess that's kind of where um so our mum is italian um mm -hmm. so we absolutely love the like european italian mm -hmm. style and just feel like it's i don't know london and england can be quite i went to the london college of fashion so I was amongst people wearing absolutely, I remember my first um, day, my dad dropped me off in London and my roommate next to me was wearing like a Victorian collar. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Like just the craziest styles, but I love like European style is very classic, elegant, like very crisp and clean and nothing too crazy, but they just always look so well put together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was something that we really wanted to, um, yeah, to kind of evolve on and build on with our Mamarelli brand and hence the names kind yeah. of from our Italian heritage as well. So our mum always has some little throwaway comments about when you get dressed and stuff like yeah. you never wear jeans without a, um, a belt you can't have belt loops without a belt yeah. you've got to look as good from the front as you do from the back you know <laughs> she kind of jumps into us so, so you're yeah. making your your mum proud basically yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she's a hard taskmaster isn't she so please yeah, oh that's she amazing really, really is. <laughs> That's amazing. So where about in Italy is she from? Uh, she's Virigio Barga. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, like, like Tuscany area. Um, okay. So yeah, so her mum moved over and yeah, and it's just, it's like something that we're really proud of that we want to make sure is incorporated and filters through. And when our grandma moved, she couldn't speak English. So, you know, she spoke to us all in Italian, which we've since kind of dropped. We replied stupidly in English and she let us get away with it. And they kind oh, okay. of just filtered out so um yeah it's uh, yeah it's something that we want to make sure we kind of include and it's something that's really important to us oh, amazing i think it's important anyway but do you speak any yeah. you don't speak like you said do you, do you understand any italian or 
Yeah, I understand bits. And I was actually, I did French and Spanish at university as well, um, which, I mean, I don't really use it anymore. I used it a little bit for my job years ago, but not so much now. And well, I'm sure, as you know, you know, when you stop practicing, you, you kind of lose the vocabulary and hmm. it's all right understanding bits, but it's more the speaking. I just can't remember the words and the vocabulary. And, you know, that bit gets a bit tricky. But um, yeah, well, you're Portuguese, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. I do, so I do understand a little bit of Italian and I think it's uh, okay. my favorite uh, language is Italian. Uh, so, I, that's I why. Portuguese is lovely the way it sounds but it's really hard to learn apparently it is well, it is quite hard yeah, <laughs> it is quite hard but yeah. I, the sound of, of this brand Mamarelli really um sort of caught my eye I think because yeah. of the Italian oh, so brilliant. that's why I was just like oh I'll follow this uh, <laughs> this brand I didn't yeah. need anything at the time or I don't need anything but <laughs> yeah. I do like that jumper so I've, I'm, I'm keeping <laughs> high on the jumper now <laughs> Yeah, but, and then uh, my um, our mum's name is Tognarelli, so we kind of um, put the two together, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and interesting. Then, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I do like one thing that you say in your um, website about the fact that motherhood is the extreme sport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very <How> true. <laughs> explain a little bit, if you can. <laughs> I well, for me, I have just found it the most the most amazing thing but the most physically and emotionally draining thing I think I have ever done. I feel like it's, it's a marathon, definitely not a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's just, do you know, you just, I'm constantly running around picking things up. Do you know, there's some days and I'm like, I've done nothing, but I am absolutely exhausted, dripping with sweat. And the next morning I feel like my muscles are aching. Um, and it's with the twins. I know, yeah. <laughs> with really the, yeah, I thought it was it was hard enough with the three year old, but now with twins thrown into the mix as well. Yeah. Um, it's uh, no, it really is. Um, it, well, yeah, ha having the right clothing to be running around makes such a difference because even things like at the park, you know, when you're bending down, picking bits and pieces up, and if your pants are always falling down, it's so annoying, you know, when you're trying to multitask and do mm -hmm. a million things at once. So. Um, yeah, it really is. For me, I found it very um, extra, extreme. And, uh, for us, as well, I noticed when I, so I looked after Vin for a couple of days and he comes and stays with me for a little bit, the three-year-old, sorry. And I noticed like, it's the stupidest thing, but in winter, I'm the coldest person in the world, but I'll go out and I'll put loads of layers on, but because you're constantly like carrying him or like picking him up and then you get so hot so so, so quickly. So you like, I was like, I don't even know what jacket to wear. It's the stupidest dilemma, but I was like, I literally don't. So that's why like all of our fabrics are like sweat wicking and things like that to try and like just make you as comfortable as possible for those inevitable sweats when you get your outfit wrong, but they're your, ki your kid's perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, that's interesting to know, actually, if it's all, yeah. um, you know, what, what type of uh, fabric it is, the one you've got right now, the t-shirt. The, the t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. So they're just like a, a polyester blend, but mm -hmm. they're just sort of really, really soft and sweat wicking. So obviously when you sweat, it just moves it away from your skin. So you don't then get freezing cold fabric on your skin. Mm -hmm. um so even though these probably are more of your athleisure wear as opposed to instead of the gym wear they can still be worn in the gym and do do serve a purpose in that sort of respect and the leggings mm. as well yeah you know, and that, uh, the amount of times I've, I've i live in the mamarelli clothes it's brilliant but if nothing else just for my wardrobe <laughs> um, and the amount of times you know one of the kids has spilt something on me or I've been had to kneel down on the floor because they don't want to sit on the wet ground so I have to get wet legs or whatever it might be and I couldn't believe it I was like saying to Alex these feel like wetsuit material <laughs> like it's a really you know Alex does all with her background in buy-in she's responsible for all the kind of technical aspects and the fabric compositions of the products Mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah and I was like these just they don't even feel like they're wet and I know I'm absolutely soaking <laughs> or I've just had a glass of water spill over me <laughs> so oh, that's uh, interesting. yeah it comes in handy <laughs> I did enjoy the um, I did like to see that the new trousers and new leggings because you've got a little pocket as well do they yeah. have a pocket for your phone yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. we've got pocket on either side um yeah we've just got the the leopard print leggings the newest version of the leopard print leggings they're actually on their way to us as we speak so um yeah oh, nice. really really excited about them every new style we're trying to develop further and just 
we love like getting feedback from mums about how they feel in them and stuff like that and then always try and kind of accommodate that if, it, if mm -hmm. it's yeah get yeah. enough feedback on it and stuff like they're an absolute must you know with yeah never have enough hands you know you mm -hmm. need your phone and your keys and everything oh yeah, um, i agree with you I you know if you take the kids with you for example and you've got the bags i mean there's little things like the keys in the phone that you just want to keep close to you yeah. at all times yeah, yeah. because then suddenly the the prom is like somewhere else with the bags <laughs> yeah. and then you run to away. one side and then you just need <laughs> the phone and then you yeah. have to go back to the bag yeah no absolutely yeah um i always do it with the car key so i've got all the kids <laughs> i picked one up i've got a, a carry cotton you know a car seat under one arm and I'm like, oh, I'm at the car. Where the heck did I put the key? And then, <laughs> so now I know to put it in my legging pockets, and it's always hand because then I have to put everyone back down, go back, find where the flipping key is. <laughs> yeah, it's so much easier. So, what's the the? Have you got anything new upcoming, or any sort of collection they've got in mind? Anything for Christmas, or this this these leggings that you you're waiting? Yeah, so the ones. leggings they are due um week commencing the 14th of December. So I think that's about two weeks, is it just under um and pre open. yeah, and the, the mm -hmm. pre-order is open, so you can order those on, on the website and then as soon as they come in, we will be sending them out. So we've had quite um a good response to that so far, which is really, really good. They are not that biased, but they are my favorite <laughs> pair of leggings ever. And I'm just and I've been doing all the time. I mean, don't ask me why, but I live in maternity <laughs> leggings. <laughs> so I just love them, especially in the winter. The pulling the um, the over the bump bit up for a bit more extra warmth is <laughs> great. So, um, um, but no, so I've been I'm um, obviously in and out of the gym constantly. So I've been doing all the squat tests, running tests, make sure I'm not forever hiking my leggings up when I'm on my run, or make sure they're not see through when I'm squatting or whatever. So. Um, yeah, they're really, really good. And they're our big um, big one for Christmas, I guess. And then we've got some really big um, grand ideas, let's say, for next yeah. year. So we're very, very excited. We're, we're in the sampling process of a few more products. Um, and yeah, they're looking good. So really, really excited to share them. But they won't be for a little while yet. Yeah, <laughs> a couple more months. Yeah. Right. And then this is the thing that I find really exciting. And it, it's kind of brings us back to the initial point that it's the whole journey of motherhood because as I go through certain phases with the kids and certain times I'm like oh Alex do you know what really annoys me is I'd love to have you know I'm, I'm going to a buggy fit class and then I'm meant to be going out for lunch and I can't find anything that fits this or do you know actually what I really like is this style and there's nothing I can find and that's been amazing do you know because mm. that is kind of like real life uh, real time experience in it mm -hmm. at the same time and we're thinking Oh, well, funnily enough, we were going to develop this kind of thing. Maybe we can incorporate that into it as well. And so it feels like a real sort of a really kind of natural progression in terms of which um, styles and clothes and garments we bring to you and how we do it. And it's mm -hmm. that for me is really exciting because, yeah. do you know, a problem, I mean, first world problems. But do you know when you're like, oh, I really wish that this it's really frustrating. <laughs> And then Alex sort of goes, well, what about if we tried with this and this and, you know, and it's, it's brilliant seeing you know a problem and you're trying to fix it and you know because obviously i'm not the only mum in the world who i'm sure like we were saying with the keys or the pockets that kind of thing everyone mm -hmm. experiences it but you just kind of think oh that's just the way it is but we've decided no enough is enough we're going to get it right mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i'm forever getting messages off her like can we try this i'm like oh my goodness just leave me alone <laughs> like just let me do one product <laughs> yeah. so, um, what i do I think, like I, as well no sorry to interrupt no go on sorry and what I do like as well, for example, the jumper you're wearing right now, if you would make it like longer to make it like it as a dress, for example, so you could just wear with tights and boots. Yeah. And We've had a couple could, of people I mention could... about that, actually, yeah. haven't we? Mm -hmm. and, and that's been really interesting. And that's that's another thing that's been amazing. Kind of, We thought we had a good idea and there was a bit of a gap in the market. But actually, as we've grown and developed and, and got, a you know, kind of a consistent following, um, a lot of people have been talking to us and saying oh I love this and I love that do you know what would make it even better or this and that and mm. it's a great kind of sounding board and and you know research for us and it feels like we're at a stage now where we've got an even better understanding of actually what mums mm -hmm. might mm -hmm. want or you know pregnant ladies might want and what mm -hmm. what the need is and how we can kind of 
cover that and um mm. yeah it's really it's really nice to be able to kind of pick other people's brains and you know mm. get other people's opinions it's great we love it so um, mm. yeah <laughs> the jumper dress is a good one actually you'll uh, have to think about that one mm. well, i think we're just trying to make um mum's lives easier in in every way uh, like possible and for example we've got one of our hoodies from our first collection had um we just tried to think about everything down mm. to the point of having the poppers on so that when you pull a hoodie over you don't ruin your hair and makeup it's obviously got your discreet <laughs> mamarelli zips in it breastfeeding zips we had like expandable sides on it so that you could actually unzip them and have a little bit more room for your bump to grow in and then once you're post-pregnancy but maybe still not back to your normal clothing you can then just zip the zips back down and kind mm. of make it a bit more tight fitting again so We've tried to, um, yeah, really, really think about the garments and make, yeah, mums feel as confident as well because it's such a, I guess, I mean, I've not been through it, but obviously just from Joe and I've got seven nieces and nephews, like my brothers, both of their wives have got kids and stuff. So we've got a lot of people mm -hmm. to bounce ideas off, but it's just such a different time, like your body just goes through from all stages and probably can be quite unsettling at times to be like yeah, oh I don't, I don't really feel like myself in my body at the moment so we just want to make mums feel like as confident as they can and as good in their body as they possibly can during those times that they're getting used to their post baby body or their growing bump or whatever it may be yeah and actually I <clears throat> I kind of uh, had quite an active pregnancy with my first more so than the twins just because I was a lot bigger and everything was a lot um heavier and harder Mm -hmm. But in when I was getting bigger in the pregnancy, there was nothing that I could wear to go to the gym in or to just, you know, go for a cycling or a, a jog. And that kind of put me off a bit because I was thinking, I don't want to go to the gym because I just look, I'm at the stage where people are thinking, has she just got a bit of a belly on her or is she actually pregnant? <laughs> and, you know, because all my T-shirts were too tight and my, my leggings dug in and it gave me really bad stomach ache. And, and it kind of put me off training a bit and keeping fit which is obviously so important you know it's such an, an important thing at such an important time and I thought this is like this is ridiculous that I'm not wanting to exercise because I'm too self-conscious because nothing really fits right and I feel like people don't know if I'm just a bit overweight or I am actually pregnant mm -hmm. and so that was the thing that I was really keen to kind of bring into the brand as well that it's not you know having an active pregnant well just staying active in general through pregnancy and beyond is so important not just for your health and well-being but you know also so you can bring be the best you can be for your kids as well and as healthy as possible um and i didn't want anyone to have any reason or sort of anything to make it harder as to kind of deter you from doing that because you didn't mm -hmm. feel good you didn't look right you know you didn't have the right clothing and i and i feel like there was a real big gap for that that there's a big you know athleisure wear trend and you know kind of taking off at the moment and maternity ranges nursing ranges seem to have been a bit left behind mm. and that was the thing that I thought well, that's not right you know it's such a amazing period of your life and you know a time when you should really be feeling proud of what your body can do and I was feeling really self-conscious and a bit you know insecure about everything and I thought this isn't right like your body's going through an amazing change and I'm Kind of hiding away because i don't feel like i've got the right clothing and the right support as well because there's a lot of you know technical aspects to the clothing that's about supporting in the right way as well mm -hmm. your body that's changing um and so that was something we really kind of wanted to cover as well mm -hmm. you know with what what with what we brought to the market um so yeah i hope that's kind of i feel like we've kind yeah, of achieved it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i think you are to be honest i think you are growing you know slowly steady but the right way and that's how it should be really oh, thank you. Yeah. just go with the flow <laughs> <That's how laughs> i'm looking forward to to the to next year and to hear and see what you're gonna bring to, <laughs> yeah, to all, the and all the <laughs> mums out there so yeah. looking yeah. forward to it thank you so much for for joining and no, you know, thank you for having us hopefully, yeah, for having hopefully us. i will um you know we'll be sharing this with everyone